Okay, check this out. Nine o'clock sharp. Yeah, that stagger will make for a good source of meat tonight. What did you agree? All right, let's do this just like we practiced. I'll go clockwise while you go counterclockwise. Got it. Good, then let's do this. <laughs> Boom! And just like that, it's finished! Nice work back there. We got the jump on it so quickly that it never saw it coming. Okay, let's tie this bad boy up and bring it back to our den. Ooh, look at you! Aren't you such a gentleman? <laughs> well, all right, if you insist on carrying it this time. By the way, I've been meaning to ask, is everything all right with you? Well, I was asking because you seem to be a little sluggish lately. I mean, I know that some of our prey can get away from time to time, but it seems like lately I'm the one that's been doing all the chasing. While well, you just lag behind. I guess... Oh, and by the way, your scales seem darker than usual. You haven't noticed? Well, I obviously have. Babe, listen. We have been dating for nearly a whole year now. It will be dumb for me to not be observant about some things. Like, for example, you seem to be acting distant recently. Not to mention, you haven't been eating as much. You normally complain about being hungry all the time. Then I poke fun at you and say something like, Gizans, you just ate two hours ago. What are you, a Burmese piton? But recently, you seem to be fascinating yourself, like, like you're on a diet. Hey, honey bun. Stop, look at me. Look at me for a second, will you? I'm worried about you, and I hate that. Especially since there are many things that can worry me from time to time. But none as much as you. So, I'll ask again. Is everything okay? Are you sure? <sighs> All right, but please... If there's anything bothering you, then let me know. I love you. And I chose to date you because I love you. Do you still love me? <laughs> That's a good wait. Wait, what do you mean? You, you don't know if you love yourself. All right. Now you absolutely got me worried. Hey, is that... Oh, yeah, probably it is. I wonder if it came off of him. If it did, then it could explain a lot. Huh. Hey, babe. How about to handle the cooking tonight? No, no, it's fine. Besides, it's clear to me that you could use some rest anyway, so please... Allow me. Trust me, I'll make sure it's extra special for us. Ah, man! I think I managed to put my foot in it once again. My sweet danger noodle bug is going to love this. <laughs> I haven't heard a peep from them since we got back. Hmm, I better go check up on him. A oh, honey bun? Dinner is ready. Hey, sweetie. Hey, sweetie. Hmm? Wait. Is that you randomly sitting over there in the dark? Okay, but why are sitting in the darkest corner of our home? Right, right. 
Anyways, dinner is ready. You should come eat. Babe, come on. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen you eat anything since yesterday. But... <sighs> Fine. I'll make sure to save you some for later, okay? Hey, you, you know you can talk to me if you need anything, right? Okay, okay. I'll leave you alone. I just wanted to remind you that I'm here for you. I'm going to go eat and save the rest for you later. Okay. He is still acting distant and cold. Something is definitely wrong, and I need to get to the bottom of it. Hmm. <laughs> and I think I know exactly <laughs> how to do it. Oh, noodle bag. I'm hungry. Oh, no, sweet thing. I'm not hungry for food, I'm hungry for cattles. Oh no, that was your first mistake. You and I both know how addicted I am to cuddles. Once I'm in the mood, neither of us can escape it. Oh, what do you mean not now? I say it's a perfect time. Pity, I'm going to cuddle you, whether you like it or not. Oh no, don't try to slide that away now. <laughs> get back here. Get, ba get back here. You, you can slide, but you can't hide. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> you're fast, baby boy, but you're not fast enough. Shush you. I said I'm going to cuddle you. Did I not? Wait a minute. You feel... You feel rough. Oddly rough. Not like the smooth, silky texture I'm used to. <gasps> Hang on. Let me rub my hands on you for a second. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Is this... Oof. Hey, babe. Come out from behind there. Why not? But babe, this whole place is our new home, not just where you're currently hiding. You're shedding, aren't you? I mean, I had an idea for a while. You are more distant than usual, not eating as much. Your scales look darker and you don't feel as smooth as previously. So it seems to me that you have been in the process of molting. Am I right? I see. So if that is the case, why were you trying so hard to hide it? Babe, come on, you're not disgusting. No, you're not. In fact, I'll prove it to you. I see this is not going to be easy, Nudelbag. <sighs> Nudelbag, listen to me. Molting is a natural phase that... A lot of us serpent sapiens have to go through. Think of it like puberty. All of us go through it, some worse than others. But it's part of a natural process for our bodies. You're right, puberty is kind of an one and done sort of ordeal. And molting is something that takes place. What, um, every three or four months? Either way, it's a good thing. Yeah, it means that you're shedding a lot of the dirt. Dead skin cells and, potentially, harmful parasites that our lower elves are collecting from slithering around on the ground. I mean, washing our bodies can only do so much, and I do not recommend trying to get into a bath just to bathe. You know how hard it is to get out of those things? Yes, this is why I prefer showering or giant pools. But enough of that. The point is, shedding is healthy and important. And you shouldn't feel ashamed about it, sweetie. 
Yes, it may make you feel disgusted, but you want to know something. Sometimes a beautiful thing can be found buried underneath a mountain lot of trash. And you, baby, are still just as beautiful as the day I saw you. Oh, don't hide such a cute face from me. Yes, you are cute. Now come with me, little bug. What does it look like? I'm going to help you finish the process. Oh, trust me. I've been through the molding process myself, so I know how it can feel. Now come on. We need to start peeling this thing off since you're too embarrassed to do it yourself. Oh, don't worry, handsome. I'll make sure to be gentle. <laughs> All right, here we are. Now lay down like you're a plank board. Yeah, just like that. Now hold still. I know you must feel very sensitive right now, so I'll try to be as gentle as possible. Whoa, hey now. You're awfully screaming, yeah? <laughs> Still feeling super ugly. Well then, I guess I'll have to use my ultimate weapon. <laughs> there, there. It's okay, baby boy. It's okay to feel bad. But don't worry. You're in good hands. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm petting you. Oh, what's the matter? You feel embarrassed. My poor, poor, adorable danger noodle. You're acting so conflicted. It's okay. I'm going to keep petting and comforting you until this is all over and you're feeling like yourself again. So, how are you feeling now? A little better. No, that won't do. And this malt won't do either. We better start peeling it off. Oh, trust me, you're going to look and feel amazing. Whoa, look at that. It's coming off like a banana peel. Relax, we still have ways to go. In the meantime. Does that feel nice? Your face changing colors is telling me it must be. <laughs> you know, going through the molting process reminds me an awful lot of being caught in the Red Sea. You know, the mood swings, random cravings, blotting, the cramps. It is not a fun time. Sometimes it can be smooth sailing, other times I just want to lie down and perish. Hmm? You want me to pet you some more? As you command, my prince. Oh, you want me to call you a good boy while I'm at it? If it means making you feel better, then I can certainly do that. Yeah, good boy. Who's a good boy, huh? Who's a good boy? Oh, look at you. Trying to wag your tail like you're a dog. <laughs> it's so adorable. <laughs> Don't worry, babe. We're almost done. Just a few more spots. Also, I'm going to need to turn you over so I can get to your backside. All right. You're doing good, noodle bug. Really good. I'm betting must feel so therapeutic shedding and peeling this old skin of yours. Yes? Sorry about what? Oh, sweet, it's fine. I knew that you never meant to hurt me. It's just that. This molting process can be embarrassing and hard for us sometimes, making us feel super ugly and withdrawing from others. Hush! You weren't that much of a jerk. You did have me worried, yes, but 
I knew the dude didn't mean to push me away. It's just a... I don't know. Copy mechanism of sorts? Trust me, babe. I don't talk the same way whenever I have to undergo shading my skin. It's not something I actually look forward to either. But I know that it must be done. Especially if I want to show off my freshly polished scales. And there. All done. Oh, just as I predicted. Your scales are so shiny and sparkly now. Yes, have a look for yourself, babe. Does it look amazing? It's like restoring a painting to mint condition. It's all part of the process. And this right here is the end result. Oh, <laughs> goodbye. You did a good job, sweetie. Damn, you're still blushing like crazy. Well, just because you're done shedding doesn't mean I'm done with you yet. Besides, I like to see your face glow a bright red. And your reactions are just too dang adorable. Now be a good boy, let me keep petting you. You're such a good boy, honey bun. Probably the goodest of good boys. Oh, come on, you can't hide the fact that you enjoy this. Besides, I can see your tail waking again. <laughs> hmm, you're just absolutely adorable. I knew I made the right choice when I asked you out. Of course. When I saw you that day hunting the ancillary the prey that I was originally chasing after, at first I was upset, but then you offered to share with me. And I found that very sweet. Next thing you know, I found you to be very sweet. And well, I was hoping that you found me the same way. Yeah, you did. But I will say... That day, when I got in sick and basically had this face of death, I saw that I had to be the ugliest looking thing on the planet. But you told me I was the most beautiful thing you ever laid your eyes upon. And that, that really made me fall for you even more. So I figured the least I can do is return the favor once I figured out you were in your molting face. You're welcome, Nudelbuck. So, can we cuddle up together now? I'm still feeling rather touch starve. Sure thing, sweetie. In fact, I'll keep giving you all the headbutts and affection I can give. I love you too, baby boy. <laughs>